There's a growing need in our community. Lately, we are seeing people that used to be part of the middle class that are now moving downwards in their capacity to take care of themselves and their families. People are, especially these days with the economy as it is, living very close to the edge. A convergence of factors has left them in need. There are a lot of families in a crisis where there's one issue that, if it's not resolved, might put them in a position where they'd be facing a lifetime of poverty. But if that issue is resolved, they can restore themselves to self-sufficiency and a high quality of life. The main thing that I see on people's expressions when they come in to see me is the look of hopelessness. Oftentimes, these are people that have spent months and months knocking on doors trying to find resources and never being able to find anything that could help them. That was really the key factor which drove the creation of SOS Pittsburgh. We were actually looking for a way to address the needs of families that were in crisis and we spoke with Edgar and Sandy Snyder about a service that they were providing in the former Soviet Union. Sandy and I, we started a project for poor Jews in Russia, an SOS project. After one of our trips to Russia, Sandy and I came home and we said, we do all this work in Russia. What is life like in Pittsburgh if you have an emergency? We got involved with JF and CS and we began to really see just what goes on in your own community. SOS Pittsburgh began because there were a lot of people in need of help, but they were falling through the cracks of social service systems. JF and CS expanded the capabilities of the program to actually bring the resources to the people that they didn't know about. Enabling them to get assistance that will take them over the hurdle and get back to a productive life. The mission is to help people get through a temporary crisis. Being able to have a couple months rent to keep them from going into bankruptcy, to repair their car, to get some medical payments taken care of. Specific needs that make a tremendous difference. The first part of the process is the referral. It comes from community leaders, community workers, social workers, and from inside Jewish Family Children's Services. Our social worker, Claire, works one-on-one -on -one with these clients intensively to help them identify what the need is and how to move past that crisis. My initial prerogative is to find out if there's any other resources that we can refer this person to and be sure that their critical need would be responded to. And if there are none, I'll bring that case to the SOS Advisory Committee. So we are going to start with Sarah 272. She was a divorced mother of one teenage daughter, age 13. We protect that person's identity. That case is anonymous. 272 has no savings or child support. Her ex-spouse is disabled and living on a limited income. The Committee of Volunteers is composed of people in the community, each representing a different perspective. We have people from a business background, people from a social work background, a psychologist, and various other people that will help really evaluate each case carefully. Proposed solution, assist with six months of bills and allow her to find a more stable income to support her and her oldest daughter. I think people would be very surprised to learn that even a small amount of money can make the difference between falling through the safety net and having a life of poverty or being independent and continuing back on their course. She can only make a certain amount of disability, yeah. but that would just give her independence. Yeah. Well, that would be nice. Right. Which has got to be better right. for mental health. Right. Okay, are we all in agreement? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Very good. One case comes to mind where a woman finally had enough strength to leave her abusive husband. While she was in this abusive relationship, her husband let her licensure for her nursing degree expire. SOS Pittsburgh paid licensing fees to the state to ensure that she could move on from this abusive situation and move on with her life. So we're in agreement that we're going to try? In this instance, $250 made all the difference for this woman to get her license and return to work. To me, yeah. this one is pretty straightforward. Yeah. All right, so yes. we've agreed for $1,000. Yes. Yes. Okay, great. Thank you, everybody. Once we help a family resolve their issue, we do not abandon them. 
And in that way, families know that this is an effort to really make sure they're back on their feet and not just a one-time shot, hello and goodbye. We heard back from that woman a few months later that she was working in the nursing field. She was happy and supporting her daughters and living near her family in Pittsburgh. SOS Pittsburgh started in 2006. That year we had about 50 clients and we're serving hundreds of families now. So the need for SOS Pittsburgh is growing, particularly now when other programs are closing down due to the recession. SOS Pittsburgh has the amazing capacity that no other resource in the community has, allowing a person to come in here and get a one-time critical need serviced. To me what's special about SOS Pittsburgh is that it really is a one-of-a-kind program. There's nobody else out there saying, okay, we're going to fill in the gaps. If it were not for SOS Pittsburgh, I can truthfully say, I don't know where or what these people would have done. This work brings me a tremendous amount of satisfaction. It's the best combination of a marvelous mission and an outstanding process that works and helps every single individual or family that we have come in contact with. When we see families who are facing insurmountable problems and we can offer a solution to them, then they know that there is somebody who is willing to help them. That in and of itself is invaluable. I've always been proud of being a Pittsburgher, but once I learned about the SOS Pittsburgh program, it made me even more excited about being a part of this community. Truly, this is our chance to repair our little corner of the world. SOS Pittsburgh has created an awareness, I think almost a movement, uh, that it is possible even in these difficult times to change people's lives for the better.